All right, so we already showed you Gauss elimination, and I brought back one of the one of the little figures from Gauss elimination. And because in Gauss elimination, what we do is we we zero out uh, these entries on uh, below the diagonal, uh, but on there's my pen's working, uh, but on um, naive Ga or excuse me on Gauss Jordan elimination we do something a little bit different uh, we proceed forth the same way as Gauss elimination we we zero these guys out okay but then the other thing that we do is we also um, we also normalize this di the diagonal entries to one okay so as a first step if we combine all of the things we do uh, normalize this to one and then zero out the other two uh, but then if, if you want to think of it as a, as a second step where we have this is one uh, zero these are zeroed out uh, the next thing we do is we we do zero out this one and we we normalize this to one uh, but then we also zero out the entry here as well and we do the same thing we we uh, well, that doesn't that doesn't become a one. Well, yeah, no, it does. We normalize that to a one as well. Yeah, we normalize that to a one as well, and then we also zero out these two. And so, well, I should probably I should probably show that in a separate separate step. Okay, so anyway, this is one. Uh, we got one all the way across the diagonal then uh, but in order of course we we do these uh, zero these guys out uh, and then these out okay and then we zero these out and so with Gauss Jordan elimination and of course uh, we got uh, primes here and, and double primes here uh, no those are just primes at this point primes here uh, and then uh, and then you see we we're, we're going through here so this will be actually a double prime here uh, and uh, this will probably be a, a prime as well uh, because we we go through and and zero that one out and turn that to a unit so so you can see uh, it proceeds forth a little bit different but the only difference is you just normalize uh, to get one on the diagonal and you zero out both both above and below the diagonal element and the advantage of this method is when you get done and these are going to be who knows how many times primed right uh, uh, the advantage of this is that when we're done we can just read uh, we can just read the X's right off the X's are going to be these these primed B's, that's going to be our answer. And so that's Gauss-Jordan elimination.